We're with Rod Harrington here at uh, Bolton Reebok Stadium for the second night of the Speedy Services UK Open. Rod, five target players in action tonight. What are your predictions? Well, yeah, as I say, we're at the Speedy Open here, the UK Open, where it's the FA Cup of Darts, which I love. The pros don't like it. They're all up in the players' room to our right. And when that draw's being made, everybody's on tender hooks, especially when you see Phil Taylor's name come out. Everybody don't want to get him and James Wade and that. But we've got some great games tonight. And our five players tonight, the five target players, let's start off with our own world champion, Adrian Lewis. He takes on Kevin McDyne. Now, Adrian's just been out in Japan, so he's had a nice relaxing eight to ten days. So I'm expecting a lot from AD this week. Week. He needs to step it, step it up a little bit after winning the World Championships. Just come off the top of his form a bit, but I've got a feeling he's going to have a good run. He's up against Kevin McDyne, that has been a great young player <clears throat> for a couple of years, but I think AD's scoring power will get him through this, and I think he's going to come through comfortable. Nine data? Who says AD Lewis ain't going to do a nine data tonight? You know, that is on the cards from him and a few other players. Our other player, Colin Lloyd, former world number one, world match play champion, world Grand Prix champion in his day, would hack it with anyone. Signs that Colin Lloyd has come back with some form just lately. Now he's playing James Wade, we all know what James Wade can do. Six times a, a major winner and, and of course a reigning champion. And let's not forget the last time that Colin Lloyd played James Wade, he beat him 6-0. 6-0 in the UK Open. That is a phenomenal result for Colin Lloyd. And proves, and I watched the game, he played superb darts. So people are writing off Colin Lloyd, certainly I ain't writing off Colin Lloyd, I know him better than anybody. And when you've got the class of this man, he may not be consistent as he was, but the class will always come through now and again. Colin Lloyd could it be an upset tonight, I'm sure about that. Dave Chisnell, the new man on the block, taking on Mark Layton. Now, I don't know a lot about Mark Layton, but in this tournament you don't take anybody lightly. But Chizzy, prolific scorer of the treble 20, and when you're that good on the treble 20, you're always going to get chances, and at the moment he's taken in chances. He's done something the other week in Crawley that not many people do, won two opens on the trot, Saturday and Sunday on our tour events. Unusual for that to happen, and that's how good he's playing. Another player that's tipped to do well in this tournament, the draw does play a major part of this, and of course Chizzy, this is a warm-up game, should get through this quite comfortable over this best of 17. Alan Tabin, not playing the best of darts, he's up against uh, Jamie Caven. This could be a tough one for Alan Tabin. They're both around about the same standard. You know, five to six to two, really, the bookies were calling it. But Alan Tabin had a great win against Coe Stompy last night, 4-0. That will give him a good bit of stead coming into this because this is Jamie Caven's first game. So Alan Tabin should get out of the gate a lot quicker than Jamie Caven and hold on to that, may get a win there. The other player, Scott Round, he is another newcomer, played well in the world. Uh, world Championships up against the pie man Andy Smith. Rather fight them and feed him to be quite honest because uh, a big man but a good steady player. A tall winner himself. Scott Rand's up against a tough competitor here. Will not give an inch on that stage or on that board. He's going to have to play well, get some of that form back that he had leading into Christmas and at Christmas. But Scott Rand, again, get out the gate quick, get control of the game, put your opponent under pressure and then you never know what's happening. So tonight, right the way across on Sky Sports at the Speedy Open, UK Open, it's absolutely brilliant darts for all. And on the target, we're our target boys. I've got a feeling we're going to do very well today. So we wish them all the best of luck and let's see some action.